Hi guys, my name is Jimmy Lou and I am the creative owner at the Messy Craft Corner. Um, we are all about kindness and creativity. So thanks for joining me and today I'm going to show you a super easy, quick Christmas card that you can make for your family and friends. Um, so you want to start with a basic card base that measures um, five and a half by four and a quarter. So five and a half by four and a quarter is our base. And then you have a couple of pieces that you want to cut. So you want to cut one piece that measures um, five and a half by two and a quarter. Um, that's our decorative paper from the collection Wonderland at Close to My Heart. Then I'm using um, Close to My Heart's uh, solid color in uh, rosemary. And the size is three and a half by three and a half. And then our basic white is three by three. So you want to start by stamping out your three by three with a sentiment and that sentiment I'm stamping in the color rosemary also. It says, if snowflakes were kisses, I would send you a blizzard, which I really love that. So I'm stamping it at the top of that three by three square, just like so. And then at the bottom part of that, we're going to stamp this cute little uh, penguin. And the penguin is from the stamp collection that is called, uh, it's actually called uh, If Snowflakes Were Kisses Stamp Set. So um, this little penguin is so adorable. It's one of my favorites. So you just ink it up real good, place it on your paper, stamp it straight down. And I did stamp it in the rosemary also. Then what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little color. We're going to add a little color to it using um, the tri-blend markers in the color ice gray. So I'm starting with my light color first and I'm coloring in the area that I want it to be colored or that I want to be colored. Certain areas aren't going to have color because you know his little face and stuff but his little scarf and his little earmuffs are super cute. So let's just add this up here across here and I'm coloring it all in with the lightest part of the tri-blend marker. Then I'm taking the medium part of the marker and I'm just going to add some details. So like around his earmuffs a little bit and the little V's on his scarf. I'm just doing little check marks to give it a little bit of color. Okay, and then I'm taking the darkest part, and that's where I'm really going around my edges, along the edge of the scarf, and the little strips down the center. Just add that up, straight across there, and down and around. Then I'm going to take my um, blending marker, and we're just going to blend that all together. So just kind of light color. It's a clear marker and when you just color it all together like this it blends those inks all nice and make it look super cute. So then it's going to have some nice shading. Look at how sweet that is. So and then also try blend in the color citrus. I'm using the darkest end to give his beak just a little color. Okay. So now we're going to put our card together. Um, the piece that measures five and a half by two and a quarter, we're going to put that down first. Just use whatever wet glue or a tape runner if you like to add this down. This paper collection is called Winter, or it's just called Wonderland, which has a lot of really cool papers in it. And then I'm using the darker side of the sage, I'm sorry, yeah, the sage paper. And we're adding that right in the center of there. No, we're not. We're adding some shimmer trim. I'm sorry for that boo-boo. I'm using um, shimmer trim in the color Wildberry. It's our color of the year. And I'm going about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom of that decorative paper. Just strip that off. And then we're going to add this on there. There we go. No more boo-boos. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to take 
This piece here is going to go right over the top. of that three and a half by three and a half square. Just center that up to make that nice little photo mat. Then just grab a small snippet of your shimmer trim and I'm just gonna dovetail it. So just kind of fold up, fold up, cut up, up and away. And it gives us that little dovetail. I'm just gonna put this sort of off to the side here. And then I have, um, I had some snowflakes. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, I had some snowflakes. I don't know what I did with them. Here they are. <laughs> I have these little snowflake embellishments that I'm um, not quite sure where I picked up, but um, you just add a little dab of hot glue. Very little dab. Doesn't need much to hold it on there. And then add your snowflake right in the center there. Then just take a little bit of stickles, which is kind of like a, um, a glitter glue, and just add a little bit of um, color and stuff, a little of the glitter to his earmuffs. It's going to make it look a little frosty and super cute. And a little bit to the edge of his scarf just makes him look frosty. A little frosty, just like so. Oop, and a little dab right in the center of, of um, that snowflake because it makes it look cute. And there you have a super sweet, easy to do Christmas card for the holidays. What friend or family wouldn't like to see this in their mailbox? Have a super great day guys and remember to always be kind because you never know what someone might be going through.